Father God, Father God, may I beg you, may I beg you, please, oh God, to remove Andrew Wallace. Remove Andrew Wallace. Remove Andrew Wallace out of his position, Father God. No, not to know one in our politics. That one is serious. Very, very serious. They are talking about Andrew, his wife, and his mate in a parliament. And I talk about Marky Golding and his dual citizenship. To make under face bigger problem on that right now. You know. Castle living turn up. Castle living gone. We are, 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 we are up in the sky, bro. Food and scrubbers. Die at the liberal attack about bro God. And then can't buy Tim McCuffin and dinner, my people. <laughs> Food and scribbles. People are fed up. Cause I live in very high. Man, I beg God so Andrew can come to office, my people. Oh, my blood clad. Father God, Father God, may I beg you. May I beg you. Please, oh God, to remove Andrew Wallace. Remove Andrew Wallace. Jamaica is not a real place. Father Almighty, I couldn't believe you're sitting because so of my God. We fix up the whole nation. Food and scabbers, we tell about politics and government. They don't care about you, only care about themselves, what they can give my people. Politics come like politics. Food and scabbers, minimum wage of 15,000. And quick, 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 tax take back everything, my people. Yeah. Food and scabbers, people talk about Rona and tomorrow the black. Taxi operators, we join them service, my people. Them man, they tell themselves that they don't come out like how you want to come out, you know. But, because, you see why I'm too eager to make an outer road. We rather the long term separation than suffer for one week or two weeks, you know. But if people smart enough, you know, them could have looked and said, when the government lock we down in a COVID, you know, eh? and we have to suffer them time there, we'd have to take it, you know. So why we can't take it off our own to suffer one look at two, three days to get things right? Because them things are fuck, you know, them things are not right, you know, brother. You give a man all two ticket or three tickets and when the get the three ticket them in life not automatically suspend and I him have to use him care for drive go work whether I'm a trade man a man who work in an office or a taxi man them thing are not right brother them thing are not right the system you can't build on a system as a government where you know, live off a of people failure and live off a of people fault and then you have some next look corrupt police who go out a road we join the police force to take revenge from people. So they, get, they have the qualification and they get in the police force to come out, come do what they want to do because they want to do revenge. Enough of them join the police force for that. You see me? So right now, I don't know. Me, we, we don't hear no, we don't hear you have nobody where you talk for you in a Kingston. We don't hear you have nobody where you talk for you in a Portland and them places. Warm to the rest of the country. We don't say, I fuck, we don't say, we don't deal with, we don't say, we don't fight against the outer road, I say. Eh? Nah, man. I don't depend on that, man. I agree with the outer road, man, and I work with it, man. I work with it, and I want some other people to just look into it and work with it, man. A serious thing, this, them, I do. You see that sitting here where them, I do? <coughs> you see, if them take for 20,000 driver's license by issuing ticket and them, Take them way. Them are going to try to implement a system where say you have to come buy back your driver's license. So it look like driver's license now renew every year with that system there in order to make the revenue go up. Eh? For the Prime Minister comfortable I get him $25 million a year with the rest of former Prime Minister them and Parliament people them. You don't see the system where we do. Eh? It a dig with dung, brother. It a dig with dung. It want yes, the rich. It want put uno in a middle class people and put the middle class people them dung to poor and put the poor right back to slavery. Uno no see how that the system I do. And I look a wicked, corrupt, big nose government ya. Yeah. I ima the one them put for do it. You know, see where clash up the recruit some young man, some young wicked youth like. Andrew Wellness, Justin Trudeau, Batty Boy Macron, and the whole of them. Fidua, carry out him agenda. Yo, we the people need to stand up on our foot, man. And stop bloodly ignore things where we see. In a favor for we benefit. We need to go out and join with the man without no drive. 
the nine to five got work or a bus or something on a need for shub out I agree with what the man here say and don't wait till you reach on the doorstep you know I go come now and say eh, and you know should I follow the taxi man them and follow the man them taxi man in a town who wanna do bus man in a town who wanna do the car man them in a town who wanna do who wanna do the man them all over Jamaica who wanna do who wanna do who wanna work without a road sir what we need to do something we cannot make the system just a put things a push things in our face and push things in our face. We can't stop it. Just like how we lick out about the child seat, we can't stop it. We no cannot set up the system for live off our whistle, brother. Eh? We come out of empty land in Jamaica, go build some factory plant, put out some more farming. We no make the country have less production, we no depend on import. And as a result of that, we no pack it spend go deep as a government and when you know pack it go deep who you want it back from we the people them when most of we never work we want the people them who spend we get minimum we thirteen thousand dollars a week to fulfill back the gap away government make them error and mistake eh a country when now produce now go survive them we there and we have so much land here and we have resources and we don't have no production eh from time to time, you know, people, if you know, check history, you know, we don't like the younger generation. Them. You see the 18 year old, you see the 18 years of PNP rule for, and them people they were born and said they want no labor right. You know what we do now, like on a big man and a big woman. We don't need to go check history and see the record from when Jamaica Labor Party and mash up Jamaica. Hmm? Jamaica did far advanced than Bumbo Clark, even New York, me here, you know. We have light before them, you know. We'd have rice factory, steel factory, every fucking factory. And them remains are them factory. They steal the boat all boat in a St. Catherine, you know, and other places, you know. And that labor right mash it up, you know. You see them come and spray out to coconut and then take them, 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 them chemical from them blood clot, crude oil, and give us our vegetable oil. Coconut oil becomes the dearest oil and coconut oil. You see if them vegetable oil and them sitting here, lick out with memory. And that's why we so fool and no one protest and no one do nothing. When we have been with coconut oil and I, I, I eat, we, we used to all drink that fuck same way. We could have cooked food and eat the source of coconut oil. And now we don't have these fuckery. You know, check history, man. And come out, come do better and stand up for a right. Because remember me telling you this. Jamaica might advance in a technology and development. But I can tell you something. Jamaica did better draft than now. Back in the 70s. And even in the 80s, early 80s, Jamaica did better draft than now. People who understand when I say we, we come out and, and back when I say Jamaica did cleaner, more decent, less corruption back in them days than did a well developed country. I've all trained before all so much place. Jamaica. Jamaica only label says a third world country. But Jamaica is not a third world country up to today. Dear. It's not a third world country up till today. Dear. They, they, all, they, they, they look a dirty drunk or white man and American. They label this a country of the third world. Because them one well, no, said we and them in the ICM League. But if we the first third world country, how we get bomb clad electricity before New York? Hmm? How we get all telecommunication before enough other place and train and them things there before enough other place. We could never be a third world country. You know, check them something there. Them just label we and we run with it and choose some out there. So, come born poor and I'm still not rich, you know. But me, I survive. I'm in a middle class neither, but me, I survive. So, we need to do better, man. We could join and go, go do something, brother. I could do something now until you reach your doorstep. We need to do something. Pastor Living, turn up, bro. You know, say so 1,000 I can buy you two party and one juice. 1,000 I can buy you a box food and a juice. You know, say so 1,000 I can't cook chicken back and rice again unless you cook for yourself and maybe you're too somebody. Drag garden is difficult, man. It's tough. It's rough. Gasper Market has spent $15,000.
Don't tell you less baby can carry that the grocery there. Cause a little bit of Sydney I get for your fifteen thousand. I remember say fifteen thousand dollar minimum wage, you know. No nah, man, drum make a cast a living, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, man. Yeah man. This one's some in Christ, some intervention, man. The boss them I employ people must go do something. The government have to go do something. He wicked man. He wicked man. He cast a living up the brother. You up the brother as you get your little piece of money done. Your money done, now you have to find yourself go back and work again until you get paid again. No man, something have to be done about this man. This is not politics, brother. This is not religion, brother. This is a reality, brother. This is something where we have to come together. Jamaican people cannot move him. Remove Andrew Onis. We see what Andrew Onis is doing to our people. Father God, I'm begging you. Please, may I beg you. Remove Andrew Onis. Jamaica, half of Jamaican people don't know what Andrew Onis is doing to them. Half of Jamaican people don't know what Andrew Onis is doing to them because them don't know, they don't have the, 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 the brain and the knowledge and the wisdom to know what Andrew Onis is doing to them. Father God, may I beg you, remove Andrew Onis. Because these people dedicate themselves to Andrew Wallace. Andrew Wallace blind these people, Father God. Andrew Wallace blind these people. Please, may I beg your father. Please, may I beg you, remove Andrew Wallace. Andrew Wallace is so evil. Okay, so I've just completed section 88 of the Road Traffic Act 2022. I had to read it because I saw a few weeks ago a gentleman made a post. Showing a ticket, a ten thousand dollar ticket that he got for having his his fog lamps on during the day, so I had to go and read that section that deals with fog lamps. And indeed, it does say that the fog lamp should not be used except when there is fog, there is rain, mist, whatever, low visibility on a whole, right? So if you have it on in the day when the sun is bright and rare, you are, you are committing an offence. But it brings me to the point now of asking what is the purpose of that? Because as far as I know and what was explained was that the Road Traffic Act, the new one, was supposed to reduce road traffic crashes and road fatalities. People have been questioning it from the get-go that it's and saying it's a money-making venture and, and it has been vehemently denied but it, it continues to show that that is exactly what it is. Because I cannot see for the life of me our fog lamp, which by the, by the same road traffic act should not be brighter than your headlamp. It should be, it should be of a lower, a lower beam than your headlamp. So how a fog lamp in a day can cause an accident or contribute to the causing of an accident? Somebody explain to me. Because I don't understand it. Why should it be an offense? The vehicles that are being made today are being made with fog lamps and daytime, daytime running lamps, DRL. And all of them something there. Right? And the DRL them, once they switch on the vehicle, those come on and they remain on until the vehicle switch off. Now, for, for some vehicles, they can turn off. Because my, my DRL can turn off if me activate the auto beam. We, we, our lights turn off and they only come on in a low visibility. So the DRL in some vehicles can turn off. But me not turn off my own. Me make it stay there because that's what it's supposed to be for. Daytime running lights supposed to be on during the day. So me can't understand. And the same road traffic act in another section, I don't remember that section now, right? Where I read that as at, as at the end of this year, 2024, no vehicles will be allowed to be imported unless they are fitted with daytime running lights. See? The daytime running light is, is for me is 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 is, is of no less a distraction or no greater distraction than than the fog lamp because the daytime running lamps are for the most part those those semicircular lamps that you see around the headlamp, right? And for some vehicles it is inside the headlamp and 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 and, and thing. But 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 those are the lights that they call daytime running lights. You understand? So those constantly remain on. And so my daytime running like them bright too. So me not understand the whole the whole thing about it. You can drive with daytime running lamp, but you can't drive with fog lamp. I me see people are driving with headlamp on to some probably I forgot to read now about the headlamp. Because if you if you can get ticket for drive with, 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 with fog lamp on, then it should be illegal to drive with your headlight on too. 
Me I go research that part there and come back and tell you no where I go on. But this sound like I just want one bag of bullshit to me. You understand? We 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 are focused on the wrong things then. We are major in the minor. We are major in the minor and it just I tell me say the road traffic act was never in, ever intended for the purpose that they say to reduce road road traffic crashes and road fatalities. That was never the intent based on what I am seeing in the act. Based ten thousand dollar just for a, a, a fog lamp, have a fog lamp in the day. How does a fog lamp contribute or causes an accident? Somebody tell me, because I'm, 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 right now I'm not an idiot. I'm not, I'm not educate me there. Please and thanks.